Hey guys, uh, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel Star Agent Star Cold Gaming here back with another Marvel Futures Fight video. Guys, make sure to check the description below the video for all our important links, including giveaway, Discord server, and other stuff, guys. And make sure to hit the sub and like button if you enjoy the content, show you support to the channel. So, guys, it is this time of this update, guys, it is time for the official Starco Gaming tier list that was made just for you guys. You can also find the picture of this tier list on the Discord server, which is why the Discord server is so important, guys. You get goodies like that all the freaking time, guys. So, this tier list, guys, we got four new uniform and three characters, three new characters uh, to actually talk about. So let's start uh, from the bottom, pretty much. We have Beast. Beast actually made it to tier 3. Beast damage output is pretty, pretty damn average, in my opinion. Uh, I think it's in about the same level of damage that uh, a character like Hila can do or she all can do. So I don't think he deserves to be much higher than that. What's very useful for him now is that even if you use him with heroes, uh, he gets a big boost in his leadership, 50% instead of 45% without uniform. Plus he, de he gets 10% critical damage. So the boost is a usability a little bit into um, being a support character. But overall, damage output wise, he, he did not get uh, much of a buff to be honest compared to his previous uniform so his damage output is still a pretty damn average and maybe bill average too uh, I think we could see it that way so Mr. Beast have made it in the tier 3 section of this tier list guys and next we have Bishop Mr. Bishop guys Mr. Bishop actually not that impressing guys um he made it to my tier 2 section uh, for two reasons. He could be in tier 3 if you don't really care about those reasons. But he still made it to the tier 2. Because Alan Conquest, he is pretty decent against energy attacker. Because of all his buff and pretty much more energy uh, damage he takes. The more uh, damage he's actually going to do. So that makes him really strong against energy attacker. And the same scenario in... Uh, 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 in Shallow Land. Now, if you take a, a look at this guy in the Wall Boss Ultimate, uh, not very good, guys. Not very good because the the Wall Boss Ultimate that actually deal energy attack to actually buff his energy attack also takes reduced damage from energy attack. So that buff is actually countered by that, which give him a very difficult time against Wall Boss Ultimate. The Wall Boss Ultimate that actually have the less problems against is actually a Banima. Uh, you can pull about stage 30, 35 off a Banima, but it's still disappointing. Now that's a level 60. I do have someone, Emmanuel Stewart, to name him, that actually working on getting his bishop to level 70. And once it gets him to 70, is going to give me a better feedback about him. But I doubt, I really doubt that he's going to make it higher than tier 2 on my tier list, to be honest, guys. But... Keep an eye on the next tier list to uh, get updated on this character. Next character we have, guys, is Jubilee. Jubilee, probably one of the most underrated character of this update, guys. I do believe she made it into the tier 2 section here. It's hard. No, tier 1. Actually, I put her in tier 1. I do agree. And do I agree that uh, she has damage to be a tier 1 section? She has about the same damage output as uh, a character like Nebula or uh, X23. So she deserves to be in the tier 1 section here, guys. Um, pretty, pretty solid characters. Good, uh, good damage. Very good damage. Survival ability is okay if you play her manually. Now, the play she might not succeed as much um, because of the AI play is... Alan Conquest, I think that she's not going to be the strongest for Alan Conquest, but for Wall Boss Ultimate, she can do stage 40 plus pretty easy. Shallow Land, uh, I think she could push about stage 70 plus with a good build. Uh, so she is very, very, very solid, guys. She is close to the level of rescue, in my opinion, with a little bit less survival ability, but still pretty, uh, some pretty good survival ability still. 
next the next character we have in this series guys is storm with her uniform justice for storm well she got justice guys she made it to the tier one section why tier one section she still lack a little bit of damage but her survivability or damage are still good enough to make it to the tier one section she can kill um shadowland 70 plus wall boss ultimate 40 plus she has a lot iframe became a very very solid character uh, in Alan Conquest, so she has everything to be uh, in a top tier character, you know, similar to Jubilee, she's about the same power than Rescue, uh, they're all about the same power, we could say she's about the same power than a War Machine, you know, if you want to compare them, so she definitely deserves to be in the tier 1 section, I wish she had more lightning damage, to be honest, I think that's the thing she, she's lacking, I think that since she's actually a lightning damage in the comic all her skills shall be uh, lightning damage obviously but and that marble decided otherwise which is kind of weird but still she is a pretty damn solid character guys now if we move to the next character we have Iceman Iceman actually is a monster in the wall boss ultimate still need to be solid testing in the lens battle extreme a blast mail uh, we did some testing in the lens battle extreme no restriction for him but the fact is that he does not have pierce damage so on no restriction he lose about at least 50 percent of the score because of that uh, because there's so much shielding on the beast in a no restriction that the damage of Iceman is pretty much nullify uh, right there so we're gonna do some more testing on male a blast i'm gonna give you guys a better feedback about this guy but wall boss ultimate wise he is a monster shallow land push can push stage 80 plus online conquest he has a very good skill set uh, a big giant summon some iframe uh, a lot of cc so this guy is actually very solid in my opinion for online conquest now if you tested him in online conquest and you have a strongest opinion than me on this one guys make sure to let me know in the comment section but overall this guy is a monster guys he is a monster he's actually better than magneto if you want to compare in my opinion but the fact that he doesn't make it in the meta meta tier list like magneto is that magneto is a meta for alliance battle extreme uh vi blast villain that's the only reason but very very solid character guy um oh ebonima 65 plus at level 70 at level 70 with gear 25 and a ctp of rage is actually something uh very possible it does lack a little bit of survivability for wall boss ultimate though you have to bring a striker like a uh, anti-venom to help him a little bit uh and also the fact that his skills takes the whole screen it's hard to see what's going on in the wall boss ultimate which doesn't help him but in every other game mode uh he has no problem with survivability in my opinion and next we have Psylocke. Psylocke got a new uniform with this update and is now in the wall boss ultimate stronger than Scarlet Witch. So obviously she makes it to the meta section. She's stronger than Ronan for example. <laughs> That's how strong she is plus she does a mind damage so she can cover every single wall boss ultimate at a very very high level she can clear a giant boss ray without too much problem shallow land uh, i received feedback that she can clear over stage 90 somebody did stage 90 in less than a minute with her uh that's pretty damn op to be honest so she is a meta characters without a single doubt here guys without a single doubt uh, sadly, there is no Alliance Battle Extreme Day for her to be tested. Well, there's no restriction, but no restriction. Uh, we already have enough people there, so she's not going to be an Alliance Battle Extreme character, but she's going to be a strong, very strong uh, World Boss Ultimate meta with some capacity in Alliance Conquest, but you do have to put immunity to guard break on her for Alliance Conquest, which is going to make her lose uh, the big damage boost she needs to get from the elemental damage obelisk in uh wall boss ultimate so you have to decide do you want to pvp with her or you want to pve pretty much and she can succeed in both game mode and the last character guys the last uniform we got is jangry not only we got uniform for her but we got a tier 3 advancement for her which make her uh the number one alliance tournament character in the 
game. Go watch Alliance Tournament and just look at her, guys. There's some people already has her to at tier three, uh, at least in the Alliance Revengers. And I actually watched in my stream last night with my people, and that was ridiculously strong. Her healing for Alliance Tournament is just ridiculous, guys. Freaking ridiculous. Thanos cannot even make a dent at tier three on this tier 3 Jane Grey. She is a total monster. I tested her at tier 2 in timeline battle. She can clear every single tier 3 in the game. Tennis tier 3 is a joke. Captain Marvel is a joke. Uh, Deadpool is a joke. They're all a joke for her. And then at tier 2 which make her very very awesome. And if you look at her on the PV standpoint with this uniform, she can now clear a Bunny Moss 60 if you have a, you know, a CTP of Rage on her at tier 2. Uh, if you get her to tier 3, uh, I'm guessing a Bunny Moss 70, maybe even 80 is going to be a possibility with her. She is a one of the best now uh, character for World Boss Ultimate overall. Uh, very, very, very strong. The damage on the Bunny Moss with and without uniform, the difference is not that big, but you have to keep... Uh, uh, at tier two, but you have to keep in uh, in your mind that once she reached tier three, that tier three skills with the uniform is gonna do over 35% more damage than without the uniform, and that's the game changer, guys. Why 35% plus damage? Because the uniform. You get 35%. If you get the uniform to mythical, you get 35% all attack increase, plus you get two bonus options that will give you energy attack and all attacks so that just makes uh, about 40 percent stronger if you have everything uh, with that tier 3 skills compared to without the uniform so that obviously makes jane gray much 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 stronger with uniform even for world boss ultimate and for pvp god damn her healing is ridiculous and she can one shot pretty much anything in pvp event tier 3 thanos it's ridiculous so that pretty much cover all the characters in my tier list guys if you disagree with any of them or you want to show me a share with me and people additional feedback make sure to come in the comment section below the video so we can discuss about it guys so we can discuss about it uh, i'm always open to discussion and when there's things that uh, you guys disagree with me if you bring a fair point to the discussion change are going to be made to the tier list to uh, adjust things in a objective way guys so thank you for watching this video guys hopefully you this video was actually awful in any way uh, hopefully you enjoy my explanation as it's the best part of my channel usually uh, again don't forget to hit the sub and like button if you enjoy the content show your support to the channel don't forget to check the comment the description below the video for the link to our giveaways and discord and other stuff and on that, Star Agent Starco Gaming is out.